Thank you all very much for being here. I'm David Summers from Your Country 95.5 WTBY. We want to say hello and thanks to some folks before we get the program started that are here. Tri-State Jeets is here. We also have Shelly Brady. She is a sign language interpreter. We appreciate interpreter. We appreciate her being here as well. Nancy Springs is here also. We have some queens from the Tri-State Tri Tri Queens, the 2015s. The Tiny Miss Tri-State is Jalen McGuire. They're all right here. Junior Miss Tri-State is Laura Beth Horn. Miss Tri-State is Carissa Watford. 2015 Tri-State preliminary queens include Petite Miss Southeast Alabama Tri-State, Caden Odom, Junior Miss Southeast Alabama Tri-State, Taylor O'Mary, Junior Miss Houston County Tri-State, Peyton Wilson, Teen Miss Newton, Bella Faulkner, and Tri-State Angel Queen, Barbecue Queen as well. On behalf of the radio people of Dothan, which consists of Your Country 95.5 WTVY, 96.9 The Legend, News Talk 93.7, and all the hits 106.7 KMX, we're very honored to be invited to be a part of this awesome event today. In my mind, Camping World of Dothan has been a quiet hero in this area since they came to town. There are a lot of things these folks do that we don't know about. They demonstrate with actions what it means to really be a part of the community and not just another retail business. Today, they demonstrate their community pride and patriotism by displaying a symbol for everyone, a symbol of our freedom. We're blessed to live in an area where things are a little different. We watch the evening news, we wonder what in the world is going on in our country. We're blessed to live in an area where we can live our lives and things seem a little less crazy. But yesterday, things happened a little too close to home. Today, we also remember four unarmed Marines who lost their lives in Chattanooga, Tennessee. After all, Mr. President, they were all probably of an age that one of them could have been your son. Please welcome the General Manager of Camping World of Dothan, Dave Shavers. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome to Camping World. Uh, I'm Dave Shavers. I'm the General Manager here. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for taking the time out of the day to be here while we raise our brand new American flag here uh, to represent, obviously, America. Uh, we're very proud and blessed to have this opportunity that everyone's here and to, to raise this great flag and for everyone to enjoy every day as they pass through the circle. Um, right today, after we're done here, we will be having free lunch uh, right afterwards. If you'd like to stick around, we'll have hot dogs and hamburgers, free lunch for everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we've got a great program lined up and uh, just help us today to celebrate uh, us raising our flag. We also want to welcome the veterans from the BFW Post 3073 of Dothan. The Patriot Guard writers are here today as well. We appreciate them. They're going to help us raise the flag. The process for raising the flag is, as you can tell, it's 130 feet tall. The flag is 80 by 40, and it could take as long as 10 minutes, but we're going to get her done. First of all, we want to welcome the mayor of the great city of Dothan, Alabama, Mayor Mike Schmitz. honored and grateful for Dave and Camping World. You know, in these times, it's important that we stand up and stand out as Americans. How many are proud to be Americans? <laughs> Hallelujah! That's why I love living here. But this gentleman in this company is standing up making a major investment, and this is a major investment because I've done this before, as a flag to show the world who we are and what we stand for, and I'm proud of this company as mayor. I'm proud of their success because they bring in a lot of sales revenue in our city, so I'm selfishly grateful for that. But I've known David a long time, and he does a lot of things you don't know about for our community, so thank you for being here, joining us today. Thank you, David. Thank you, Camping World. Let's celebrate being Americans and tell people how proud we are. God bless you. And now a gentleman who is 
going to be in concert at the Dothan Civic Center tomorrow night. He's also making an appearance later today from 3.30 to 5 at Eagle Eye Outfitters. The star of Duck Dynasty and the Vietnam veteran, please welcome home Uncle Sai. First of all, we got Korean veterans and Vietnam veterans. I don't know about the Korean veterans, how they was received back home. I know how the Vietnam veterans, okay, and look, it's interesting for y'all. Welcome home, and we do thank you for your service, and we appreciate what you do for the country. Okay, it's the citizen that when the time comes, steps up and changes, okay, and puts on a uniform and goes to war for the United States of America. We send them, okay, so my goodness gracious, guys, hey, when they come back from war, welcome home, guys. Great job. Thank you for your service. There are still some good seats available at the Dothan Civic Center. Tomorrow night, it's Songs and Stories with Uncle Cy. Again, we want to thank the Patriot Guard Riders. They're going to be assisting as well with the raising of the flag, and we're already beginning to hook up the flag. They wanted to do a drive-by. Are they, are they ready to go? Uh, Resolved that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, 
white in a blue field representing a new constellation. White signifies purity and innocence. Red, hardiness and valor. And blue signifies vigilance, perseverance, and justice. The 50 stars stand for America's 50 states, while the 13 red and white stripes represent the 13 colors. But there's also a lesser known interpretation for the stars and stripes. The House of Representatives 1977 book about the flag states, the star is a symbol of the heavens and the divine goal to which man has aspired from time immemorial. The stripe is symbolic of the rays of light emanating Right hand. 